Well, good morning. We're here in Rainer, Minnesota, right on the Canadian border, basically. Right behind me here is Rainy Lake, and across the lake is Canada. And if I turn this way towards International Falls, the Canada's just across that little river there. You can see the railroad bridge, maybe, and the trains go back and forth between here and Canada. Anyway, we're going to do a ride on the Rainy Lake Trail. It's sort of a collection of bike paths and some road riding from here at our hotel in Rainer. It's about 20 mile round trip. And then you got about three miles into International Falls you can do. It's gonna be a gorgeous day. We were out in a Voyager National Park where this trail goes yesterday, doing some fishing and hiking and enjoying it. So it's, it's just beautiful out there. So come along with us and enjoy this ride. So first part of the ride is along this uh, pretty low traffic uh, street for the houses here along the lake. Here's the uh, Rainer City Beach. So that's the highway we're gonna have to be on at some point. We can go a little bit further on this back road. Now we're coming up on the highway here. We can either get on the highway, which has a really big shoulder, or I think we're just gonna cross over and there's a little back road we can follow for a little bit. is where we run out of options we got to be on the highway for a little bit like I said the good news is it's got a huge shoulder as you'll see here four miles into the ride we uh, have to cross over and then we'll be uh, we didn't have to but we'll connect with a bike path here Well, so far, what a pleasant ride. Beautiful day out. Uh, not much traffic on the roads, that helps. Now we're on the bike path, but we I think we have maybe a mile on this, and then we gotta drop back on the highway for a bit, then back on a bike path. So, we'll just see how it goes, but so far, can't beat this, what a beautiful day. Wilson Bay here. There's a nice little hiking trail on that little over there on the other side. About a two mile trail. And the fishing pier where we fished. For the most part, this is a pretty flat ride. This is, I think, the biggest hill. I think there'll be some more hills once we get into Voyager's National Park on the bike path. Well, we were so in the zone, we missed the turn here to the National Park. So it's the Rainy Lake Visitor Center of Voyagers National Park. We've been here twice. It's beautiful. So this is just uh, drop dead gorgeous back in here and peaceful, the birds. I think it's about a 1.7 or so mile bike path in the park here. 
they just put it in a couple of years ago so it is beautiful well 10 miles right on the mark we're here at the visitor center We're gonna go over to this point where we uh, kind of relaxed and fished a bit. It's beautiful. Not a lot of fish catching. This is the uh, National Park uh, boat ramp. And they also have a boat for boat tours, but that's not running right now. I would suggest if you do this ride to come out to the picnic area here and then come out here onto these rocks by the fishing pier. It's just a great, great relaxing view. I don't know if you're going to see them in here, but there are a ton of dragonflies. I think they kind of use these trees as a windbreak. Oh. Well, we were able to get some filtered water at the uh, visitor center and we're heading back. So now we're back on the road for a bit, highway. Back out on the highway, I think we had about half a mile till we can turn off on the side roads. Well, we're back here to Rainer, uh, about 21 miles maybe total. Go see Voyager Vic, I believe is the name. Well, they decided to uh, do the whole trail. It's about three miles, maybe a little less than that, into the trailhead where they ended in International Falls. So. I'm gonna guess this is the backup for the border crossing. People at the uh, National Park were telling us it was all um, backed up. This is, uh, this is insane. So entering International Falls here. Still got this line for the border crossing. And here's the uh, beginning of the trail, the Rainy Lake Trail. So I just confirmed them. Um, line's about another mile to the border crossing itself. So it makes it about three miles. Well, the trail is real good. That's the path's good. It's a little boring along the highway, but uh, not too bad. A lot of road crossings, uh, driveway crossings. And the uh, Rainer Trailhead. Well, the Rainy River, the border between the United States and Canada, comes out of Rainy Lake, 
heads north and I believe it goes all the way to Hudson Bay through uh, Lake Winnipeg. Well, I thought I'd take a moment and wrap up here in front of the Rainy River. Great little path, little trail. We uh, did about 26 miles, 27 miles total. Uh, you can go a little further if you wanted to do some side roads and stuff like that, but it's a great little trail if you're in International Falls. You can ride out to uh, Voyager National Park and then really see some beautiful things. So give it a try if you're in the area. Till our next ride, we'll see ya. Yeah, the cantilever where we're staying here. Rainy Lake just down there. There's a brewery down there. There's an ice cream shop. Uh, we really enjoyed it. It's actually a distilling company and a restaurant. Got great food. So we're really enjoying our time staying here at this hotel. We grabbed an ice cream cone at the ice cream shop near the hotel and then went out and enjoyed our ice cream with a view of the beautiful Rainy Lake. The Rainy Lake Trail turned out to be a pleasant surprise. I wasn't really sure quite what to expect. There's not much on it on the internet, but it turned out to be a great trail, a lot of fun. The paths and everything seem very safe even when you're on the road. So if you're going to International Falls, and you should because it's beautiful up there, give this trail a try. Thank you for watching our video. Like it if you liked it. Please comment below and subscribe so you can stay current with our adventures.